bomb. The need has just risen, um, and so uh, we're hoping that we can make sure that families are nourished. New tonight, how you can create hope for the holidays through helping your neighbors. Now, the San Antonio Food Bank is expanding what it's doing to feed more families this holiday season. Tonight, our Joe Galley is here for you with how you can also benefit by helping to feed the hungry in our community. Rain did not dampen the spirits of hundreds of volunteers at this massive food distribution event at the Alamo Dome today. This is the last major drive through event before Thanksgiving. Because of the holidays, even more people are looking for help. These people could be my neighbors, my family, my friends, everything. So I feel like it's my purpose to like give back and do what I can. Gabby Herrera has volunteered for more than 300 hours helping out the San Antonio Food Bank over the past few months. Herrera's service has given her a sense of gratefulness and hope during the pandemic. The clients who come through, they're so thankful and they're so nice and you just really get a sense of like who your community is and like who's going to be there for you and it just gives you that feeling like I'm not alone in this world. It's a story repeated over and over again by each of these volunteers doing what they can to help your hungry neighbors. Those that come to give walk away almost benefiting more than those that came to receive. Over the next few weeks, the San Antonio Food Bank is adding more services to get more meals to people in need. Not only is the San Antonio Food Bank in need of more volunteers, they're in need of more holiday foods like turkeys as well. We've made it very easy for you to help out your neighbors in need. Just head to our website, news4sanantonio.com. Back to